Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Um, today I'm going to show you the demo version of Alex. Um, first of all, I just want to say I'm sorry because I was a dig back then because I said I'm going to post up a download link a while back, but I just was caught up so much in work I couldn't do anything with it, and um, the program was left unfinished. And recently, I just sat down and patched up some things. So yeah, now we're going to have now you're going to have the demo version of this program. It doesn't have much functionality, it just gives you the insights of how the program will look like in the future. Because from now on I see that you guys love this thing and uh, speech recognition things. And I'm gonna create uh, a lot more in the future. I already have several ideas, but this is just, like I said, this is just a demo version of the program. Um, so, first of all, actually second of all, I saw probably that only about three guys on YouTube are doing these things and everyone else is just taken away from it that's just that's nice but try making one in one of your own because uh, even though it sounds really nice that you have already have future recognition program imagine the excitement and enjoyment of that you made your own program that you can share with others because it's yours, so nobody can take it. Um, also, I heard about there's a Jarvis operating system that's written in Java. Uh, that would be really awesome. That was like uh, one of the first ideas that came to my mind. And I also talked about Michael C. Uh, with it. He said it's going to be quite a task. And um, yeah, so these dudes from India, I, will, I also chatted with them a little bit. And um, they are creating the Jarvis operating system. So respect to that. I mean, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to post up the, uh, post up the link in the description of the video so you can see it. And um, I must say, it looks really, really great. Probably I'm going to program in Java myself, but later on, because currently I'm using C Sharp because it's, uh, I kind of got used to it. Um, next thing is about the case. I didn't use case because it makes you like I said this program is a uh, has its pros and cons pro is that it's not case statements if you know what I want if you know what I mean which means that you don't have to say that specific word exactly the way you wrote it right sentence actually sentence I'm sorry so if you miss if you don't say one word or you don't say one letter, the program will not do anything because you didn't say from word to word what you want. So if you wrote, um, can you open Facebook and you say open Facebook, the program will not do anything because it has restrict from command from point A to point B, if I can say it that way, which you need to say in order to program to open something. I kind of didn't do that. I used something else, which gives him a lot more flexibility. So I just used one word. And um, so you can see a novel if you want. But as long as it has that word in it, it will run some process. So it gives you that flexibility. Now, also, what is a pro, pro it's also a con. Because sometimes during your regular speech, you can say something like Facebook accidentally. And the program will run. Fortunately, that's one of the bugs. So I'm going to in future i'm gonna since i already have a, while, a lot of ideas and i'm since i i know you guys really love this i'm gonna focus a lot more on this thing and um, um i'm gonna put up put in the how to turn off and turn on the speech recognition system i don't know it's kind of a or just to find a way that i'm gonna close the sentences if in a way that once the sentence is done, there's no repetition. Once it's done, it's done. So I'm going to find it, find something like that. I'm going to Google it out and I'll see if, what I can do. So this is going to, just like I said, this is the demo version of the program, but a lot more will come with the updates. And I already have a lot of ideas. Uh, like I said, this one, what you see now is a wallpaper. So this changes wallpaper on the program itself. That's like one of the things that I'm going to update. This already is the, in the program, so once you get the program itself, you can change the wallpaper. So that's a, like a cool feature. Uh, second of all, uh, not second of all, second of all was long ago, and um, I also devoted a lot of a lot of time to graphical interface because 
regardless of everything it's good to have a program that it looks good um, so yeah right now I'm gonna show you the how the program looks like it's this um, I don't know I'm gonna run it later a little bit later because sometimes maybe while I'm talking the program will just go off you know and um, this is how the form looks like this little uh, bar here the the by default was removed and this one here replaces it because I think it will be much more cooler than that um, these icons here Facebook Outlook Gmail and Twitter are basic run process buttons so you click it it will take you to desired to the desired thing but also what I what I was uh, unable to do was when you go over this button it will pop up this little uh, picture box here with the photo so it gives you like a little insight it's not like a tooltip which gives you a lot of information but it gives you picturized detail about the desired thing so we have Facebook Outlook and Gmail and Twitter this little Tweety Bird so that was like a nice cool feature which I added this little uh, cloud here it will probably write I'm gonna add a little bit later about it you can search Google Wikipedia or YouTube with this search box I like I said in the previous video you just click on it and you write whatever you want and based on these three specific words play gonna open YouTube uh, look we're gonna is gonna open Wikipedia and search gonna open Google and whatever you type in here and when you say those one of those three specific words it's gonna open the result list with the desired thing that you said now with it I kinda make it a lot more flexible than the other search boxes like I, what I posted a while back was a Google Wikipedia and YouTube search now you had to type those little uh, how do you call it minuses god wow in order to open something but it didn't always you work that way so here you're just gonna type it and play it along um, here you got a weather info so you gotta type WOED click this for memory box and also if you don't know what your WIED is click here it's gonna take you to the desired page. You can find your own city. You're gonna find the specific number. Type it in here. Click this little uh, cloud with a Harry Potter sign, and it's gonna give you the details of the current weather situation. This is like the Alex logo, and here is like this the wallpaper thingy. This is like this is minimize button, and this is close button. It's like it looks like a home button, but since I had, didn't have like some sort of a functionality for the home button, it's close so yeah uh, what else I also added one cool feature with my friend's advice that he gave it to me I'm gonna also post up his uh, blog link right into the description and make sure you follow that guy because he is awesome and um, that gave me an idea about the wishes so if it's a new year it's gonna say happy new year if it's a Thanksgiving it's gonna hey, say happy Thanksgiving um, also, he, al he also made one cool feature that I, I I didn't put in my program, but uh, maybe I will about names. So if you say like, if you with your friend and you want to say to the program that says hello to your friend, you say hello James and can you say hello to James and the program will respond hello James how are you? Now that was a one hell of a feature which I'm probably gonna add. And um, he gave me that idea because he also wants to make a uh, speech recognition program in C sharp more AI more human than pretty much robotic using case so yeah like I said I'm gonna post up his uh, post up his blog link in the description and make sure you follow that guy because he is awesome people so this is the basic design how about how it looks um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna run the program because uh, I'm sorry but the program will just went off so like I said this is just the insights of how the program will look so you, there's not much few commands probably about 10 or maybe 15 just to give you just to give you sort of um, like I said again insight. Wow about how it will look 
So, um, yeah, yeah, that'll be it. Uh, first of all, like I said, this is a demo version. I'm gonna add a lot more because I found a lot more things, and um, I know this is a little bit buggy version of the program. It's not actually buggy, but all those things that are flaws can be fixed. So you know what, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And um, also enjoy the video. I'm gonna also uh, uh, add a next to the setup of the program. I'm gonna add the folder with the commands, which you're gonna copy to local disk C, and the um, how was it? yeah dot net uh, network 4.0, which is required were required a necessity for this program. So I'm gonna add uh, add that too. So no worries about it. So you can just install 4.0, copy the f uh, folder to the local disk C, and just run the program with no worries at all. If, however, if there's something wrong with the program, you cannot run it. You didn't follow the instructions properly, or you did follow them, but you still cannot install the program. Please contact me, and I'll see what's the problem, and we're gonna fix it. Update several things, and I like I say contact me if there's any flaw in the program so we can fix everything and you're like oh yeah yeah sure 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 and you don't you just you don't so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave a like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time with new updates new a lot more features which is which is gonna blow your mind I right, stay awesome people